Hello everybody, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with a new album to share with you. It's been a while since I've made one. Um, this was made for a workshop back in October, but it's taken me a while to film it. Um, altered in papers from the Off to the Races collection. This is absolutely stunning. The, the colours in this collection are just um, right up my street. So I've used the 12 by 12 pad, the ephemera cards, and the 12 by 12 patterns and solids and if you're a graphic 45 follower you'll know that all of the collections are themed but if you're really not into horses um, there are some fabulous b-side papers you just get the little pad and i can show you in this collection that um, you can use on any project so beautiful greens and oranges I love that paper the horseshoes and some browns some fabulous blues I was quite touched to see actually that Diane and her design team had put Lady Di in the paper collection um, there's a, a My Fair Lady and a Gone with the Wind theme that runs through the papers too on the picture sides um, but then there's some fabulous checks look at that with all the horses off to the hunt on and some more oranges, beautiful rich browns. I think this is my favourite, this green. It has got horses on, but it is just stunning. Fabulous um, page full of trophies there. And then some nice stripes. So if you're really not into the picture side, there are gorgeous, gorgeous papers in here, all with a vintage theme that you can make beautiful projects with. And the other thing that I used for the album is one of our Boxit kits. It just makes a really fun case for your album. But the instructions for the album also come with what to cut if you want to create your own box. So you don't have to buy the kit, you can create your own box. Or if you prefer, you can create the album just in standard covers and the instructions include details on what to cut for that too. So here it is, let's just talk you through the cover. I've gone for oranges and browns with a hint of green just to pick out the flowers. I love the roses in this, it reminds me of my grandma. Um, and the horseshoe and the ephemera card that says Lucky, so it's my lucky album. And then the sides have been covered in the green paper to complement the colours on the top. I've added a magnetic closure to the box but you could put any closure on it that you wanted and then the spine, the border follows through on the spine to give a really lovely case. I've tried to keep it quite flat but there is a rose on the top, perhaps needs to be stuck down here, um, but really really sort of simple design so that if you make albums in a box and you store them on a shelf the covers don't get ruined and then um, I've used the Stampin' Up Photo Corner Punch just to add the corners on the top there for a bit of detail. We've got one of the border strips, the two ephemera cards and then some foam pads underneath this um, piece here just to lift that up as well. So it gives it a little dimension but not too much. And then flipping open, the whole thing just falls out flat so that you can actually get into your pages. So on the first page, I've coordinated the pages as I like to do, just so that they all blend together. Um, we've got a lovely pocket here with a tag in it and magnetic closure that just opens and then the whole thing folds out. So room for a photo on the front here and then some really nice space for a photo there. You can add something into the pocket at the bottom and the little tag will also fit underneath. Nice to have a tag so that you can write down some journaling about your pictures. So it all folds up, that clips down, the tag slides behind the picture and then there is a larger photo mat that pulls out at the side here, she says. Yes, it will. And it's got a little pocket on for another little picture to go in it. I've gone with the horsey theme. I quite like it, actually. I'm not a great horse goer, 
or races goer, but we do have a lot of horsey people in the family. Um, so I thought I'd go with the theme of the papers, but you don't have to. You could do completely plain, non-theme related album with the same papers. But I love that. So that little photo book slides behind the um, section on the page. And then on the opposite page, I've just got a large pocket with a large photo mat in. I love this paper. And then I've just put um, some space for journaling on the back. And then there is a little tag that pulls out of the pocket here as well. A nice long one. I've sort of gone for circles, um, a half inch and a quarter inch punch on this album. So room to put a picture on the back if you wanted to, or a couple of passport sized ones. Or some journaling, and that just slides in behind there. And again, I've accented all the pages with these corners. And then between all of the pages are pull-out mats. Again, they make a nice area for a photo. Pop a photo in there, put one on the centre. And also on the back. Again, over the picture if you wanted to. I think that's beautiful. And that just slides in between the page. So it's themed on the front to go with this side and then themed on the back to go with this page set with the oranges. So on here we have got, let's just slide that in, um, two little pockets. I've used the cutouts from the picture and the banner just to create two pockets on the brown and I've used ephemera cards for my little photo mats, plain on the back. So you can have them either side. And then there are two long tags that pull out of the pockets. And I've gone for the green spotty patterned and solids and a stamp on each. And then just cream on the back so that you've got room to journal. And they just slide in there. And then on the opposite page, this one's quite interactive. Um, we've got a pocket on the front with the stamps and a little tag under there. I uh, pulled in the horseshoe paper. I think this is my favourite of all the papers. And I thought it went with the horses and the orange. So that one slides in the little pocket behind the ephemera card here. And then there's a magnetic closure that opens up. This flips out. This one flips open. And then inside, again, you've got room to pop a photo on the ephemera card or on the back of it. Under there and a little pocket. A little pocket here. I've cut the corner off one of the ephemera cards and just created a little pocket and a photo mat that hasn't got a bag. And they just slide in there. But again, you could just put a photo on that page and then room to put a photograph in the middle. And that folds up and closes. And the pull out this side, I've used the paper with the cups on. How fab is that? With the brown and it opens out so nice place to put a photo in there and again a little band to put something underneath as well. And then this side I've added a little pocket and it goes with the blues and oranges on this page set. So let's slide that one back in. I love the image on the signature paper so much. I've used it on the page here. So um, I've added the horse's nose. It disappeared behind the pocket. So we've cut it out and popped it back on. We've got a little band across here with a border strip. The blue paper to complement the background of the signature sheet of paper. And then two tags that just fit in the pocket here. And on the other side, we've got a nice little band with a pocket on it. Again, I've used the rest of that roses border just to complement the roses on the picture or the ephemera card here. So photo mat, plain on the back, just slides into the pocket. I've used one of the pictures, beautiful pictures of the ladies. And again, plain on the back, so a smaller photo could fit on there. And then there's room underneath the band to add more photo mats in if you wanted to. 
and again we've got I've got one photo corner down here I'm not sure where this one's gone and then pulling out the the book here I've used um, Lady Di on the front mounted on black card and then again it opens with the pocket on the inside and the large space for whatever you want to add so that's that double page and then we flip over there is lots of room in the album to add extra things in there are only four pages in this album even though there's sort of books in between um, so it does mean that there's lots and lots of room to add more in even with it being in the box case as well so that's really important it's no good jam packing your album full of paper and then there being no room to put anything in it so on the back of my little photo mat I've just gone with a plain orange to complement these two pages so that one just slides in in there like that they've all got ribbon pulls on these little photo books and let's close this up properly magnetic closure on here so let's open it out flip over the picture so nice room for a photograph on there but a picture until you put your pictures in yourself flipping over I've used some more of the beautiful ladies I think the paper's called my fair lady I should know shouldn't I shall I look it up in the little pad yes it is my fair lady and they really are beautiful images so we've got one here behind this cutout and another one at the bottom here that pulls down let's just move it up a little bit and there's a pocket on the inside of that tab I've used the large lady on the center of the page there but again room for a photo on there that folds up this one flips over and there's a nice um, pocket here to put I've got one large photo mat and two small ones and they just slide into the pocket there I love that blue and orange theme and this paper is just gorgeous so I've cut a continuous piece across here so that the pattern follows and then the page folds up and closes and then on the opposite side we've got a nice little lift up flap that's disappeared <laughs> and uh, with a band so you can pop something behind it and a nice space there for a photo and then the mat inside I went for the horsey paper I just love that paper and one of the ephemera cards and then there's just a little band in the same paper on the side here so again lots of room for nice pictures and let's flip over flip this over and then right at the back I went for the gorgeous orange and browns and greens I love these greens so I used the brown version of the paper with all of the um, venues on on the back of here so that one just slides back in Oop, and comes Ollie again so what's going on on this page well, we've got a nice little pocket section here with a photo map behind it I've used the border on the page just to pull in the roses on the front of the fold out section here so a nice little photo mat and a horseshoe paper with an ephemera card on the top so that one just slides under there two little tags hold this um, pocket closed and then it opens up so the tags could go inside if you wanted them to or stay on the outside room for a photo in here as well and you know the little band has been stuck down but if you're going to make it yourself you could make that into a little pocket as well and then that all closes up and they just pop in there and then on this side we've got um i've used the stamps they carry on across mm. the page to mm. match the left hand side we've got a little book here a little photo book I've just used there was an odd piece of paper left so I've just used it on there and made a little book you could put anything inside it and that sits in the pocket there and then there is a bigger photo book that you can add 
your pictures into and little journaling cards if you want to. There's a half inch depth here so you can add quite a lot into the book or into the pocket if you wanted to. So I've kept it plain on the back and tied it up with a ribbon as well. And again it's a good way of using up all those sort of leftover papers. So we've got a mix of patterns and solids in here and papers from the main collection with little pockets. So a really fun little book sitting at the back that just sits in that little pocket. And then the whole box folds up. Actually, let's close it. Close it up. So all the pages flip over and then we'll fold the sides up, flip the lid over and do up the magnets. But again, you don't have to put the magnetic closure on. You can um, make the album without the... Let's just hold it up. You don't always want to close, and I don't know why. Oh, let's get it shut properly, and then, and then we're done. So you could make it just with a standard cover, or with the box sides on, or by the kit, and put it in the box kit as well. So three ways of making this fabulously gorgeous album in these beautiful colours. Fabulous Geographic 45, as always, with a wonderful paper collection for us to craft with. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll put the link to the DC tutorial, the PDF tutorial below, um, if you'd like to make the album yourself. Uh, don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching the video and subscribe to my channel to be kept up to date with new projects as they come out. Thanks for watching.